are you looking for an amazing practice buddy that doesn't complain about your musical taste or playing? Well, I'm not that guy. But that amped over there, that might be. Welcome to my channel. We have the Line 6 Spider V60 over here and we are going to look closer at it, listen to it, look at the features and try to decide who is it for. If you want to decide which gear I review, get some extra videos, sound tests, well, for example, check out the artist presets, how they sound, then check out my Patreon. And that way you can help me to make these videos. And the first, the overall feel and kind of quality of this amp. This is a great looking amp. Really nice looking amp. Everything, the cabinet coverings, all. And it feels great quality too. Really great, solid looking amp. And also, really sturdy handle, great for carrying this around. And here you can see the backside, and yeah, I, I really like the looks of and the feel of this amp, really nice. And let's jump to the features right away. On the backside, we have USB ports for both iPhone, iPod, and then the Mac PC Android, and you can choose between those with this switch, and you can't use both at the same time. You have to choose neither one of these. And then the FBV pedal line 6 is foot switch. You can use that with this amp and that will make things easier. Nice nice addition. And then all the basic stuff, aux in power. Yeah, kind of solid connection options. Recording with this amp, it's quite easy. You get the cube case AI with this and it's a nice way to record. And let's look at these overall features which can have a real effect on your tone. I really like this design that the Line 6 has decided to go with. You have only these five knobs and you can add just all the effects and also the, all the basic amp controls with these. And you can do so with these two buttons. This is amp is now activated, basic drive, bass, trip and EQ volume. And then if you click the effects, FX. Then you can see that on the screen over here, you can start playing with the different pedals. You have the compressor, distortion pedal, mod, delay, reverb, all this kind of cool stuff. And you can also change these pedals. You have this switch over here, which is used for selecting different thingies. And then let's choose distortion. Pedal, then edit, and then here you can. It has the tube drive distortion on it, and if you press it with this switch, now you can change it. Loads of different pedals. You can have a tons of fun with playing this. Yeah, and also let's put that back. It was the mm, tube drive here, yeah. and you can add just the drive itself, and also the gain, what you want to highlight, which frequencies. Really nice options, and that this is just one example. And here we came to the one thing that this amp should have, in my opinion, the back button. Yeah, it's it's not a huge gun, but it would make things a little bit more clear and easier. But you can get back by pressing it over here. And then my favorite feature with this amp, the looper. I'm going to soon show you how it works, but it's it's awesome. I, I really like to use a looper when I'm practicing and having fun with my wooder and gear. You can record short sections of your playing and then play back those from your amp and then play and jam with those short sections that you have played. And you get also different drum loops, wooder riffs and also metronome for example to jam with, with this amp. You can access these by pressing this but first time I pressed this some riffs started playing quite loudly so don't get scared. Here you can, yeah, there's the metronome. You can choose which instrument or loop type you want to use by hitting the switch anti-clockwise here and then pressing it. And here you can select from loops, metronome, demo riffs. Let's check this clean riff out. <laughs> Then let's check 
some drum loops. Yeah, great practice, buddy. And let's quickly see how many of these we have. From punk rock to rock groove. So you have a plenty of, I think, like 15 different drum loops to choose from. And also, let's check these other riffs out. One, two, three, four, four, four different riffs. So enough, definitely. And I think that you will have more fun with your own riffs and own playing and looping than with these demo riffs. Or personally, I do. And this has tons of different presets. First one is this clean, and I'm going to show you how some of these sound and also talk about a little bit. I have tested most of these, so you can select different presets with this switch tons of different different amps pretty 800 for example and then you have acoustic type of modeling sims also here you can access the song presets they kind of use different variations of the songs because of the copyright reasons at least i assume so you can see no one knows some are presented with their original names. Lots of different songs over here. We also have the artist presets. Let's check these out. Mm, for example here we have the Mastodons, Guderist Bill Kelly here. He, and his presets clean and especially this distorted stuff. And again you can check these artist presets out on my Patreon and also in my Notax Sound demo some of these were included. And these art presets are my favorite thing with this amp. Really great. I had the most fun of these and also I think these sound the best. So this was the quick overview of the features of this amp and you can just modify all of these presets if you want. Just turn the knobs. You can add just different effects and add some effects and then basic amp settings like you would do with any other amp. And when you have dialed in the specific settings, tones, you can save your presets by holding this. As you can see, it reads over there. And of course, you have the tuner, which you can tap your delay. So basic amp features plus a tons of other different features. 78 different amps and also 101 different effects. So yeah, quite endless tone possibilities with this amp. That was a quick overview and kind of a quick tutorial type of depth in the features of this amp and the usability overall it's it's quite simple of course if you get an amp with less features it's simpler to use almost always but still quite simply used i might have to start using this without the manual so that's always a plus with the amp that has this many features now it's time to start playing this I will show a couple of my favorite tones and then kind of more general sound demo with this. And then at the end I will tell my opinion about the tones of this amp and then who is this amp is for or is it for anyone. Yeah. And again I will use this Ibanez CRX 70QA cheap budget cooler. Sounds good still. I think it's good to test amps with cooters that are kind of easily accessible for anyone. But I'm also going to play a short section with my ESPL DDM J400. A little bit more expensive cooler and it has active pickups too. So let's check these tones out. <laughs>
So let me know in the comments what you think about this amp. Does it sound any good? I have a Line 6 amplifier and this has the same problem with that one. A little bit digital sounding, a little bit too digital sounding amps. Compress it and yeah, sometimes reminds me of old video game music a little bit. I think this is not a bad amp and, and it's, it's worth your money, around 300 bucks. Yeah, and the features that you get, some nice presets, looper, all that kind of stuff, it's worth it in my opinion for some folks. If you're just looking for a really awesome sounding amp, you don't care about hundreds of different effects and amps and that kind of features, then this is probably not for you. This is a great practice buddy, as I said. You can use the looper to jam with your own tracks. Also, you can use the drum looper. There's a metronome for practicing. Tons of different features. Of, and of course, as always, you can put aux cable in and jam with your favorite tracks. That is the case with almost any amp nowadays. But yeah, for that kind of purpose. And, and if you like the tones of this amp, or are fine that this is not the best sounding amp, probably, on this price range. In my opinion, you can get better sounding amps and better value for money overall, this kind of money. But still, for practicing, for feature cravers, nice option. But those the overall song presets like clean, grunts, dirt, brown, well clean, it was fine, but otherwise grunts and that kind of tone presets, I'm not a fan of those. Yeah, there are kind of a lot of tone presets on this amp out of the box that are not really good. And personally from me, those wouldn't get much playtime. Yeah, uh, song presets, those are fun if you want to play with relatively close with your favorite songs, some of your favorite songs, guitars, uh, guitar riffs and solos, those are fine, but I think the artist presets are the best that this amp has to offer out of the box. And it kind of makes me think that this amp can sound pretty decent if you play with it, play with the settings. For maybe, maybe example, plug this into your PC and use the software with this Line 6 Spider Remote. So yeah, artist presets, those were my favorites definitely. As, as I made clear in the start of the video, you see the little banner there, I rendered this. So would I buy this for my own use for a longer time? Right now, probably not. I like the better sounding amp and if it's similar to use, that uh, plus always. For me, right now, that's kind of a great sounding amp, like Post Katana M50. I decided to go with that one. More content about it coming soon and also comparison video with this one and Fender Mustang LT25. It's going to be cool, so subscribe for that. So yeah, I decided to go with Post Katana 50. It's a better sounding amp in my opinion. But for example, when I buy that Line 6 amplifier, Amp, a little bit digital sounding too. It was, I think it was 2016 or 15. It was the right time for that amp. I wanted to play with tons of different features and use Bluetooth when jamming with my favorite tracks and room loops and everything like that. So back then, yeah, I, I was and still are. Uh, other than I'm not using it anymore, I'm probably going to sell it. But still, that amp uh, served me well. And this can serve folks that really need these features. This can serve to us folks really well. Yeah, it's worth the money. So, let me know in the comments what you think about this. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, because I really can't touch every feature of this amp in a one under six hours video. Yeah. And I can make content if you guys support me, so subscribe. There's a link in the description if you want to check this out, buy this or any other gear through that. It helps me. And then also Patreon. Extra content. You can choose the gear I review and do videos about and chat about those with me and other Patreons there. So check that out too. Now, stay safe and hopefully I will see you again soon.